We've all seen the yellow sign heading out of town on the Yellowstone Highway right before it turns into Highway 26, right before Beaches Corner, right after the Stinker Station, Mm -hmm. that says, warning to tourists, do not laugh at the natives. Yeah, although right now, you can hardly read it on that sign. It's so weather-worn. It's so faded. We need some sign repairs. (laughs) I was on my Mike Helps Idaho Facebook account this week, Uh and I thought, wait a minute, you know, um, where does that sign come from? I'm pretty sure... It's owned by Stinker Station. Right. And I was correct. Mm -hmm. And come to find out, they had a ton of these, not just in Idaho, but other states. Okay, let's back up a step. Uh Have you ever heard of Burma Shave? Uh, No. Okay. Burma Shave was some shaving cream Mm -hmm. that was popular post-World War II. Okay. And they advertised with a series of road signs all in a row. Oh, yeah. Right when the Great American Highway became a thing. Exactly. Yeah. And everybody was in their cars and mm-hmm. taking the Great American Road Trip. So you'd come upon a sign mm-hmm. that would say, does your husband. And then, you know, you'd take a beat. I don't know. Quarter mile. Right. Less, more. The next sign would say, misbehave. Mm-hmm. The next sign would say, grunt and grumble. The next sign, rant and rave. Mm -hmm. The next sign, shoot the brute some. The final sign, Burma shave. So it was sort of a series of signs Mm. that when read going 50 miles an hour would create a bit of a poem that always ended in Burma shave. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. All right. So then here comes Fearless Ferris. You ever wonder who he is? He's a real guy. Started the stinker stations in the 40s. Mm -hmm. and I think passed away in the 70s. So Mm -hmm. for 30 years, he ran these things, built it up to like 150 gas station empire. I think they have 105 stores now Mm -hmm. through Idaho, Nevada, and Wyoming, I want to say. But they were prominent all the way through Southeast Idaho, and I think they were sort of signs designed to make the kids in the backseat ask mom or dad, what what does that mean? Mm Mm-hmm. Like um, one of them said, nudist area, keep your eyes on the road. Uh, Sheep herders headed for town have the right of way. There was a sign in a field of boulders that said, petrified watermelons, take one home to your mother-in-law. That's funny. Grizzly bear feeding grounds. Mm -hmm. And I'm putting them up on the video too. With a later start, you wouldn't be here yet. So our warning to tourists, do not laugh at the native sign is Mm -hmm. one of hundreds maybe even Uh of these signs. And a dude wrote a book about it. I just friended him on Facebook, link in post. That's cool. I love that. If you really, really want to find out more about Ferris Lind, Uh who started Stinker Stations. But if Idaho had its own mascot that nobody from almost any other state would recognize, Mm -hmm. it'd be the Stinker Station skunk. Yeah, I'd say so. Wouldn't He's kind of like our Bucky's. It's just sort of our very own hashtag if you know you know. Right, right. You know, here mm-hmm. too. He started in Boise and it just sort of spread so in particular in between Boise and Idaho Falls in southern Idaho. <laughs> <laughs>